wheels and the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Round and round. The wheels and the bus go round and round all day long. Ah. Oh. Why didn't the bus wait for us, Gran Gran? We didn't get to the bus stop in time. Other people will be waiting for the bus along the road. The bus can't be late for them. Oh, it's a very busy bus, Panda. Ah, oh, missed it. Jared! Hey, Jojo! Gran Gran! Guess we'll be getting the next bus together. When will the next bus be here? Let's check the timetable. The timetable tells us the different times the buses are going to arrive. And we need the number seven, which will be here any minute now. Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. I think the bus is too full for all three of us to get on. Oh, I'm going to be late getting back to the shop. I hope there aren't any customers waiting. You get on this bus, Jared. We'll wait for the next one. What if the next bus is too full, Gran Gran? Oh, I'm sure the next bus will have space. On you get, Jared. Oh, thanks, Gran Gran. You're a legend. Oh, uh, sorry. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, Jojo. I'm sure the next bus will be here soon. It's the next bus! Hooray! It's here! Quick, Gran Gran! Oh, that was quick. I love butterflies. Butterfly. Butterfly. <gasps> oh, you're not a butterfly. Oh. Do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm, it's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry. And it doesn't have wings. That's true. But one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm. It's amazing. A caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> Then the caterpillar eats, eats, and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. It looks like a leaf, Gran Gran. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly, butterfly. with beautiful, colourful wings. Wow, that's amazing. Melanie hatched from an egg. Uh-huh. At first, she was a little baby chick. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa. Until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Gran Gran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. <gasps> She's still really soft, Gran Gran. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 
This building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. 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 Follow me. This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? <gasps> yes, please. I like to call her, um, Ma Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. If we pop this stick next to your plant, we can measure how much it has grown. And if we draw a new line every week, we can see how much your plant is growing. I will keep looking after it, just like Cynthia said. <laughs> Awesome, Jojo. It looks just like a trumpet. And you must have been taking really good care of it, too. <laughs> All these leaves look orange, Gran Gran. Ah, from a distance they do, Jojo. But look closely. Whoa! Orange, red, yellow and green. Oh, that's why autumn is my favourite time of year. I love how colourful the trees look. We need an orange leaf first. How can we collect the orange leaf all the way up there, Gran Gran? It's too high. We can't collect leaves that haven't fallen from the trees yet, Jojo. Then how will we collect any leaves for our nature tick book? Huh? Oh, hey, Jojo! Gran Gran! I wish these trees would stop dropping their leaves everywhere. As soon as I sweep them up, more fall. Huh? <laughs> We're going to collect leaves in all different colours to finish our nature tick book. But we can't collect leaves that haven't fallen from the trees yet. But you can collect leaves that have fallen, right? Mm-hmm. How about this leaf? An orange leaf! It looks just like the orange leaf in my nature tip book. Thanks, Jared! Come on, Jojo. Let's get to the park. We have lots of other colourful leaves to find. Bye, Jared! See you later, Jared. Bye! <laughs> Number four. Number seven. That's our bus. That's right. Now we just have to wait. That's the number three bus panda.
round and huh? Gran, Gran, how will the bus driver know when we want to get off? Ah, you see that big red button? When you want to get off, you just press it. That tells the driver to stop at the next stop. Can I press it now? <laughs> not yet. We're not near our stop. Now? No. What about now? No. Maybe now? No. I'll tell you when. In a moment. Now. Yay! <laughs> Bus driver, I made the bus stop with the big red button. I wish I could change it to a butterfly. Hmm. I think it's time for a grand grand plan. We can't change into butterflies, but we can make butterfly wings. Beautiful, colourful butterfly wings. Thank you, Grand Gran. Can I put them on now? Uh, the paint's still wet. Let's pop them outside to dry in the sun. Hmm. Jojo, Grand Gran, I've got something to show you. <gasps> A butterfly. What's the butterfly doing, Cynthia? It's waiting for its wings to dry in the sun. I get lots of butterflies on this plant. It's called a primrose. Oh, butterflies love these plants in spring. Whoa! And now you've seen a butterfly, you can finish your nature tick book. Yay! Hello there. Welcome to the city farm. I'm Julie, the farmer. If you need to know anything about our animals, just let me know. I'm Jojo. Have you visited the farm before, Jojo? I came with my mummy and daddy. And now I want to show my grand -grand all the animals I saw. And I can't wait to see them. How lovely. Well, they're all here still. Even Melanie. She's my favourite. Even Melanie. Look, Grand Gran, here on the sea. Bah! Bah! <laughs> this is Nanny, Grand Gran. Last time she tried to eat Daddy's jacket. Say cheese. Llama. Yes, a llama. It says here that Luna is four years old. <gasps> I'm four years old. But Luna's much taller than me. Mmm. She's even taller than me. And I'm much older than Luna. <laughs> <laughs> this plant here will grow bushy red flowers. And this plant here will grow itsy-bitsy blue flowers. Hmm. What about that plant? Ah. A trumpet flower! Good choice, Jojo. This daffodil plant will grow a yellow flower. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared. 
Cynthia. Oh, good morning, Jojo, Gran Gran. Oh, what have you got there? Jared gave it to me. I'm going to grow my own flower. How lovely. A daffodil, too. Just like my flowers. <laughs> My flower look like yours, Cynthia. Well, if you take good care of it, I'm sure it will. Maybe Cynthia can give you some flower growing tips. Of course. It's very simple, really. A plant needs lots of sunlight to grow. And plenty of water. And if you take good care of it, you'll soon have a yellow daffodil flower. Just like yours? Just like mine. Thanks, Cynthia. We'll take good care of this plant, won't we, Panda? <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> Thanks, Gran Gran. Now we need a yellow leaf and a green leaf. Gran Gran, can you push me up high on the swings, please? Maybe we can see a yellow leaf from up there. Whee! <laughs> what can you see, Jojo? Orange! Yellow leaf. Now we just need a green leaf. No green leaves here. Or here. Hello there. Welcome to the city farm. I'm Julie, the farmer. If you need to know anything about our animals, just let me know. I'm Jojo. Have you visited the farm before, Jojo? I came with my mummy and daddy. And now I want to show my grand grand all the animals I saw. And I can't wait to see them. How lovely. Well, they're all here still. Even Melanie. She's my favourite. Even Melanie. Look, grand grand, here are the sheep. <coughs> Back. Back. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> She tried to eat Daddy's jacket. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> no, Nanny, I'm not straw. <laughs> this is for 
carrot and clover. <laughs> They're two little pigs. And bestest friends. <laughs> <laughs> Luna. He's a... a... Llama. Yes, a llama. It says here that Luna is four years old. <gasps> I'm four years old. But Luna's much taller than me. Mmm. She's even taller than me. And I'm much older than Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the dinosaur? No. No? Oh. We got a bit distracted, Ezra. Oh, that happens in the museum. So many interesting things to see. Did you follow the dinosaur footprints? If you follow the dinosaur footprints, you can't get lost. Thanks, Ezra. Come on, Hugo. Dinosaur I've ever seen. But Gran Gran, I thought we were going to see a real dinosaur. This is a real dinosaur, Jojo. It doesn't look real. These are real dinosaur bones. Actually, Gran Gran, the correct word is fossils. Oh. These dinosaur fossils are all that's left of the dinosaurs that roamed the earth a long, long time ago. Wow. Ezra. <coughs> yes? Are the dinosaur fossils very old? Oh, yes, Jojo. Are they older than me? Oh, yes. Older than you. Are they older than Gran Gran? <laughs> Much older. Hmm. Are they older than everybody in the museum? These dinosaur fossils are older than anybody in the whole world. They are millions and millions of years old. That's very old, Hugo. I love butterflies. Butterfly. Butterfly. <gasps> oh, you're not a butterfly. Oh. Do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm. It's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry. And it doesn't have wings. That's true. But one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm. It's amazing. A caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats, eats and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. Ooh, it looks like a leaf, Gran Gran. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Wow, that's amazing. Well, because at this time of the year, it doesn't get dark until much later, when you'll be asleep. Oh, Panda was really looking forward to seeing the twinkly stars. 
Hmm. Jojo, I think it's time for a grand grand plan. Are you ready for a sleepover story under twinkling sleepover <gasps> stars? Look, Panda. Thank you, Gran Gran. Captain Chloe followed the friendly bedtime bear through the nighttime forest under the light of the twinkling stars until she discovered the treasure. Oh, I think Panda is a little bit sleepy now. Do you think Panda would like to go to bed? Yes, please. <gasps> Maybe I'm a little bit sleepy too, Gran Gran, even though it's not dark yet. Well, we've had a very busy sleepover. We've played a sleepover game, had a yummy sleepover feast, and read a sleepover story under twinkly sleepover stars. Sweet dreams, Jojo. Sweet dreams, Panda. <laughs> yes, we just escaped that dinosaur. But we haven't found the treasure. Where shall we look next? Mm. Through the secret door. Ooh, into the secret cove. Yes, a secret treasure cove. You first, my friend Panda. All clear. Whoa! It looks just like your kitchen, Gran Gran. <laughs> Let's explore. Can you see any treasure, Captain Jojo? Not yet, Sailor Gran Gran. Can you see any? No. But oh, I think I just stood on a pressure pad. A pressure pad? Afraid so. It activates. The pirate traps! <gasps> oh no, the pirate traps! This giant boulder is coming right towards us. What should we do, Captain Jojo? Quick! Under the table! <gasps> oh, that was a close one, Captain Jojo. Yes, the boulder just missed us. This is a great story, Jojo. What happens next? Hmm. We still need to find the treasure. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, what have you found, Captain Jojo? The treasure! My favourite Captain Chloe book! Wonderful! A perfect end for a perfect story. Shall we read Captain Chloe now? Hmm. I'm really glad we found my favourite story book. Pirate dinosaurs, are you ready to launch into deep space? Roar! That means yes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Jojo! The pirate dinosaurs have spied an interesting planet in the next solar system. Oh! Roar! That means let's find it. What's the interesting planet, Gran Gran? Here it is. And what a great planet for a sleepover feast. Mmm, delicious. Do you have a sleepover feast every?
every night, Gran Gran. Only on special occasions. Is this a special occasion? Oh, this is a very special occasion because you're staying here. And Panda. And Panda? <sighs> oh, Panda's looking a little sleepy, Jojo. I think it's time to start getting ready for bed. I don't think Panda is that sleepy, Gran Gran. <sighs> Are you, Panda? Oh. <laughs> Come on, Jojo. Where's that sleepover toothbrush? Ahoy there, me hearties! I be Sailor Gran Gran, and you be Captain Jojo. Arr. Arr. And here's Pirate Panda. Ah, ahoy there, Pirate Panda. As the captain of We Buccaneers, Jojo, you will be in charge of our story. So, how will it begin? How does this story begin, Sailor Gran Gran? Oh, however you want it to. Uh, does Captain Jojo want to become a Kung Fu master? <laughs> does she want to find the moon in a rocket? Captain Jojo and Pirate Panta wanted to find some treasure. Oh, yes. That's a perfect beginning for our story. Where should Captain Jojo go to find the treasure? Hmm. A sandy desert island. Great idea. How do we get there? Arr! Should we catch the bus or bounce on bouncy pogo sticks? <laughs> we should sail there in our pirate ship. All aboard! Whoosh! Whoosh! A whoosh! Whoa! Watch out for that wave! Woo! What happens next in our story, Sailor Gran Gran? When you make up your own story, it's up to you! Can Captain Jojo see anything from that pirate ship? Yes! Land ahoy! Oh, perfect! A sandy desert island with a palm tree on it. Come on, pirates! Let's search for treasure! I think it's time for a Gran Gran plan. This race is about being slow and steady. Slow and steady? Yeah, it's called the egg and spoon race. <gasps> Ooh. Excellent. That's good, Gran Gran. Everybody ready? Ready. 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 And one more thing. If you drop your egg, you have to go back to the start. Oh, Bring okay. It on. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh no! No monkey. Remember, slow and steady. Slow and steady. That's it, Jojo. <gasps> no. My egg. Keep going, Jojo. Almost there. Jojo wins the race. Oh, I did it. Oh, yes. oh, Jojo. Oh, Jojo. Faster isn't always better, Panda. Sometimes it's good to be slow and steady. Mmm, 
best sandwiches in the whole world. No, Monty. M Monty, this is my sandwich. <laughs> Now's the time to run fast, Jared. Monty, Monty, that's, Monty, Monty, it's my sandwich. Monty! Sorry. Gran Gran, who makes the weather forecast? Is it magic? <laughs> no. Scientists called meteorologists predict what the weather will be like. Meteor... Hmm. Ologists. Meteorologists. Hmm. David! Hey, Jojo! Grand, grand! Yay! <laughs> Where are you two off to? We're going to the park. And I'm going down the big slide. But the weather forecast says it's going to rain later, so we need to get a wiggle on. But, 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 but. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm selling umbrellas today. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow! Would you like one? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Jared. But I've got a plan. Of course you have, Gran Gran. It's getting cloudy, Jojo. If we want to get to the park before it rains, we need to get a... Wiggle on! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jared. Bye, Jared. Bye. off to today? We're going to the playground. To slide down the big slide. Oh, the big slide. Oh, but we have to get a wiggle on. Look, Panda. The big slide. It looks like we got here just in time. Can you look off the panda? Hmm. Watch me, Gran Gran. Oh. <laughs> I did it! Woohoo! Well done, Jojo. Gran, I think the weather forecast was right. It's raining. <laughs> the big slide is too wet and slippery now. Hmm. I think it's time for my grand grand plan. When the weather forecast said it was going to rain, I packed your wellies and raincoat. Thanks, Gran Gran. So now we can have fun, whatever the weather, and splash in big puddles! <laughs> 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 Take a look at this photo, Jojo. That's the shop. But that's not you, Jared. That is Jared's dad. 
This photograph was taken when I first came to live on this street. Oh, yeah. That was a long time ago. This is what the shop used to look like when my dad worked here. He liked blue, but I liked... Green! Green. <laughs> mm -hmm. I decided I wanted a change. Much cooler. <laughs> Bye, Jared! <Let's>... <laughs> oh! The park looks the same, Gangren. Are you sure? <gasps> it's a different tree. It's the same tree, Jojo, but when your mummy was little, it was only small. Now it has grown really tall. Hmm. Has anything else changed, Gran Gran? Whee! When your mummy was little, these swings weren't here at all. What about the roundabout? No. The roundabout wasn't here either. And the slide is brand new. Whee! I like that change. <laughs> but this old bench has been here for as long as I can remember. Time to cut Grand Grand's hair. Yay! These scissors are very sharp, Jojo, so I'll do the cutting. Scissors are very sharp, Panda. <laughs> there we are, all finished. Ah! <sighs> you look amazing, Grand Grand. Thank you, Jojo. Ready for Ezra's party. Charlene's done a great job. Oh, well, I did have a fantastic helper. You're right, Gran Gran. The hairdressers is fun. I have some time before my next appointment if Jojo wants a little something. Yes, please. Can I have it like that, Charlene? Great choice. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa. Until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Gran Gran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. She's still really soft, Gran Gran. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please! Yay! <laughs> this building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. 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 Follow me. 
This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? <gasps> yes, please. I like to call her... Um, Ma... Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. Oh, take a look at this photo, Jojo. That's this shop. But that's not you, Jared. That is Jared's dad. This photograph was taken when I first came to live on this street. Oh, yeah. That was a long time ago. This is what the shop used to look like when my dad worked here. He liked blue, but I liked... Green! Green. <laughs> mm -hmm. I decided I wanted a change. Much cooler. <laughs> Bye, <Jared. Let> us... <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Park looks the same, Gangren. Are you sure? <gasps> it's a different tree. It's the same tree, Jojo, but when your mummy was little, it was only small. Now it has grown really tall. Hmm. Has anything else changed, Gangren? When your mummy was little, these swings weren't here at all. What about the roundabout? No, the roundabout wasn't here either. And the slide is brand new. Whee! I like that change. <laughs> But this old bench has been here for as long as I can remember. Did you find the dinosaur? No. No? Oh. We got a bit distracted, Ezra. Oh, that happens in the museum. So many interesting things to see. Did you follow the dinosaur footprints? <laughs> if you follow the dinosaur footprints, you can't get lost. Thanks, Ezra. Come on, Hugo. Aha! This way! dinosaur I've ever seen. But, Gran Gran, I thought we were going to see a real dinosaur. This is a real dinosaur, Jojo. It doesn't look real. These are real dinosaur bones. Actually, Gran Gran, the correct word is fossils. Oh. These dinosaur fossils are all that's left of the dinosaurs that roamed the Earth a long, long time ago. Wow. Ezra. <clears throat> Yes? Are the dinosaur fossils very old? Oh, yes, Jojo. Are they older than me? Oh, yes. Older than you. Are they older than Gran Gran? <laughs> Much older. Hmm. Are they older than everybody in the museum? These dinosaur fossils are older than anybody in the whole world. They are millions and millions of years old. That's very old, Hugo. A real dinosaur! Oh, yes! Where's the dinosaur, 
Grangren? Mm. It's a while since I've been here. Um... Oh, look! There's my friend, Ezra. He might know where the dinosaur is. Hello, Ezra. I didn't know you worked here. Hello, Grand Grand. Oh, yes. I volunteer at the museum a few days a week now, putting all that wisdom to good use. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be Jojo. Oh, is that your dinosaur? He's called Hugo. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> well, we got one of those here. Our Tyrannosaurus Rex is a little bigger, though. Is it bigger than me? Oh, yes. It's bigger than you. Is it bigger than Grand Grand? <laughs> Much bigger. Is it bigger than the whole museum? <laughs> Not quite. Oh, a moustache. I'm giving a tour. See you later. I'll see you later, Ezra. Now, where's that dinosaur? Let's go this way! <laughs> OK. Welcome to the city farm. I'm Julie, the farmer. If you need to know anything about our animals, just let me know. I'm Jojo. Have you visited the farm before, Jojo? I came with my mummy and daddy. And now I want to show my grand, -grand all the animals I saw. And I can't wait to see them. How lovely. Well, they're all here still. Even Melanie. She's my favourite. Even Melanie. Look, Grand Grand, here on the sea. <coughs> bah! Bah! <laughs> <laughs> this is Nanny Grand Grand. <laughs> Last time she tried to eat Daddy's jacket. Say cheese. says here that Luna is four years old. <gasps> I'm four years old. But Luna's much taller than me. Mmm. She's even taller than me. And I'm much older than Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Gran Gran. Uh, I'll just be a minute. Uh, OK, Charlene. No rush. Grand Gran, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thanks, Charlene. This is my granddaughter, Jojo. And this is Panda. We really like your hair, Charlene. Thank you, Jojo. I like your hair, too. <laughs> what are you having today, then, Grand Gran? Oh, my usual trim, please. Just a little off the ends. We're going to a party later. Oh! Shall we start with a wash? Yes, please. <gasps> oh, 
Aren't you going to cut Grand Grand's hair? <laughs> Not yet, Jojo. We've got a few things to do first. But you and Panda can be my special helpers if you like. Oh, yes, please. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Panda. Charlene always starts with a shampoo. So relaxing. <laughs> now we add deep conditioner. Fly? Oh, do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm, it's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry, and it doesn't have wings. That's true, but one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm, it's amazing. <laughs> Caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats, eats, and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. It looks like a leaf, Gran Gran. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly. butterfly. With beautiful, colourful wings. Wow, that's amazing. I wish I could change into a butterfly. Hmm. I think it's time for a grand grand plan. We can't change into butterflies, but we can make butterfly wings. Beautiful, colourful butterfly wings. Thank you, Gran Gran. Can I put them on now? Uh, the paint's still wet. Let's pop them outside to dry in the sun. Hmm. Jojo, Gran Gran, I've got something to show you. <gasps> A butterfly. What's the butterfly doing, Cynthia? It's waiting for its wings to dry in the sun. I get lots of butterflies on this plant. It's called a primrose. Oh, butterflies love these plants in spring. Whoa! And now you've seen a butterfly, you can finish your nature tick book. Yay! Melanie hatched from an egg. Uh-huh. At first, she was a little baby chick. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa. Until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Gran Gran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. 
You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. <gasps> She's still really soft, Grand Grand. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please! <laughs> This building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. 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 Follow me. This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? <gasps> yes, please. I like to call her, um, Ma Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. Hello there. Welcome to the city farm. I'm Julie, the farmer. If you need to know anything about our animals, just let me know. I'm Jojo. Have you visited the farm before, Jojo? I came with my mummy and daddy. And now I want to show my grand, -grand all the animals I saw. And I can't wait to see them. <laughs> How lovely. Well, they're all here still. Even Melanie. She's my favourite. Even Melanie. Look, Grand Grand, here are the sheep. Ba, ba. This is Nanny Grand Grand. <laughs> Last time she tried to eat Daddy's jacket. Say cheese. Cheese. They're two little pigs and bestest friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is Luna. She's a a llama. Yes, a llama. It says here that Luna is four years old. <gasps> I'm four years old, but Luna's much taller than me. Mmm. She's even taller than me, and I'm much older than Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Grand Gran, a real dinosaur. Oh, yes. Grand Grand? Mm, it's a while since I've been here. Um. Oh, look! There's my friend, Ezra. He might know where the dinosaur is. Hello, Ezra. I didn't know you worked here. Hello, Grand Grand. Oh, yes. I volunteer at the museum a few days a week now, putting all that wisdom to good use. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be Jojo. Oh. Is that your dinosaur? He's called Hugo. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one of those here. Our Tyrannosaurus Rex is a little bigger, though. Is it bigger than me? Oh, yes. It's bigger than you. Is it bigger than Gran Gran? <laughs> Much bigger. <laughs> is it bigger than the whole museum? <laughs> Not quite. Oh, a moustache. I'm giving a tour. See you later. I'll see you later, Ezra. Now, where's that dinosaur? Let's go this way. <laughs> okay. 